stop. At this. What are you doing? What, the f what are you doing? Why are you down here when you should be up there with her? What you, you think finding this guy is more important than it's gonna make her better? Do you well, think? It that? might, or it might save some other poor girl. I want this guy out of my house. I want him out of what, what my do you want house. Me to, you want me to go in there and talk to her? I've tried. Did she won't talk Shut to me. Up. So you play the character of Annie in Trust, a uh, very mature role for you. How did you prepare for a role like this? Did you go to uh, talk to counselors or visit crisis centers or talk to other victims? I did. Well, I didn't talk to any of the victims personally, but I did get to hear victims speak about their situations and what they went through, so that was very helpful. And I did go to some organizations and the Rape Foundation that David is involved in, and I got to hear some people talk and everything. And I also read articles, and not to mention, you know, the script in general was very helpful for me. And how did the direction of David Schwimmer help you? Yeah, he's a great, great director, and because he's so involved in it, he's able to answer your questions, and him being an actor himself, you know, he can definitely relate in a different level, you know, and talk to you, and, you know, it's very helpful. Were there moments when you were doing this that were maybe a little terrifying? You know, I, a lot of the scenes are very tough and very, and they can be very terrifying, but you just kind of have to keep in your mind that you're standing up for every girl who's ever gone through this, or, or boy, you know, and that kind of... That's one of the reasons why it kept me going, you know. The other night I had this dream. I'd got him. I was beating the life out of him. I was on top of him and I was punching him and punching him and his face was caving in. There was blood going everywhere and I could actually taste it. I woke up, I found I'd actually chewed the inside of my mouth. It's my own blood I was tasting. What if they did catch him and they put him in jail? How would that make you feel? Good. Relieved. Do you think that there's a big gap in reality um, and maybe a misconception that people think, this would never happen to me? Yeah, that's why most of this stuff happens, really, is because not many people think it can happen to them, and then it turns out it does happen to them. But that's, that's kind of one of the reasons why this movie was, you know, made, because more people need to be aware of that. Do you and your family look at the Internet in a totally different way now? We do. We do. We're very, very cautious. You know, my mom, my mom checks my my Twitter and see who I'm following and stuff like that, just just to make sure. And you know, I'm not allowed to add anyone I don't know or anything like that. Well, congratulations. Thank you. It's an excellent film. Thank you very much. Thank you.